Dolk is not a killer yet. Pai Mu, not a killer yet. Really a killer boy. Really a killer now. Be careful what you ask for. Headhunters, Killer Instinct, Reek vs. Gage, January 15th. We at Buko on Virginia Beach. Uh, it should be fun, you know? It should be a good battle. I'm supposed to be retired. I'm supposed to be done. I'm supposed to be chilling. I'm supposed to be kicked back. R&B singer. Niggas won't, niggas, niggas won't bother me. You see know what I'm saying? Man? I don't bother nobody, man. I don't do shit. How did this even come about, man? Gage, right? Because Gage is fairly new. For sure, for sure. You know, um, dope. Yeah, I agree. Definitely dope. And, um, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, so how did this come about? Uh, this whole thing came about, honestly, um, because you know, I'm going to pull the curtain back a little bit. And, you know, we all actually like in a group chat together. So we all just talking and, you know, bro was like, you know, he just want better competition. He want, um, you know, he want to battle the niggas that he feel like niggas look up to. In, in 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 Virginia's battle rap culture, right? And you know he wants the the abs of the world and the notes, the young riddicks, uh, you know, uh, the niggas along those lines. And um, to to be even more honest, it was one of them things when niggas was trying to tell him like, you may not be ready for that just yet. You see what I'm saying? And then my name gets thrown into it because you know. I, you know, I had a, a bit of a history in battle rap. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's been a while, but you know, I was uh, at one point. I, I do honestly feel like I was one of the top niggas in battle rap for the area. So, um, you know, the idea got presented to me, and you know, as much as I be wanting to be retired and shit, battle rap is just like this itch that I can't really. Like, you know, it's just it's it's something about being on stage and. That, that the crowd reaction and you just getting your shit off for nine minutes like it's just it's something about it that it's kind of hard to leave alone so here we are unfortunately like yeah, i feel like bro is ambitious you know um bro wanna you no know, you want to prove himself you want to show niggas that like he really can do anything he put his mind to and you know i can respect that you know it's just i mean like a lot of times you can't do everything you put your mind to. <laughs> and um, you know, it's 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 gonna be a real test for him, you see what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's gonna be a test for me because you know, whenever I get up on that stage, like and I don't mean to sound like disrespectful to whoever I be battling, but like I'm never really battling them. I'm always battling myself. Like I'm trying to see what I can do better than last time. Like when I battled Doc the last time, that shit was me like really just trying to figure out. I even still got it, you see know what I'm saying? Like my my greatest hits as far as battle rap was concerned from was from when I was like 17. So uh you know nine years later trying to see if I can still if I don't I try to make sure I don't sound like the washed up nigga in the back of the club trying to get his raps off, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that that's that really be my battle, you see know what I'm saying? Like I watched that dark material and it's hella shit I could have did different to be honest. Like it's a lot of shit I could have did way better. So, and I mean with that in perspective, I just be trying to battle against myself. It just so happens that Gage is standing across from me, but this ain't this ain't even about him. If we being honest, you know what I mean, I mean, do I feel like it's a do I feel like it's a difference in levels with it? Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? I feel like I bring a certain. Um, a certain energy, I bring a certain charisma, I bring a certain uh, level of skill to this thing. And um, I'm not finna try to adjust that for the sake of, cause I feel like I'm battling somebody that's not as good as me, you see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I still gotta put on because anybody can lose, like anybody can be beat, you see what I'm saying? If I come in there playing, who's to say that this nigga don't actually got three rounds of a gauge we've never heard before, you see what I'm saying? So I can't really take the chance of like, uh, he light, so I'ma just, I'ma save my good boss for somebody else. Like, nah, he gon', he gon' get all of this. He getting treated like, he getting treated like game seven of the finals. I mean, it's, it's no slacking. It's no, no light moments, you know, no bullshit bars just to get me through. I mean, we taking our time with it. I mean, we gon', we gon' do this right, you know? What's the outcome, man? Uh, 30. Gentlemen. 60. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. 
Cause it's still shit that I ain't even get to show or get to try when I was battling Duck. Cause we only went one round. So to be able to actually get the time to, you know, cause I was just trying to cram so much in there because you know, it was one round, like five minutes. So being able to actually take my time with it and set shit up the right way, that's, that's gonna tell the whole difference between, I mean, what was a okay one round as opposed to three solid Unfuck wittable rounds. You get what I'm saying? Like that's that's the that's the difference. So yeah, we it's it's, it's gonna be a thirty. Clean sweet. No gentlemen. So if, what if somebody was like, yo, I feel like Gage gonna get you two one. What? That don't even sound right. <laughs> that don't even sound like some realistic shit. Like you gotta understand when because I was watching Gage versus Pymo, you know. And the only reason why Gage, why that battle even looked the way it did in the third was because Pai Mu was kind of slow with the builds. And the content, once he got once he got going, the content was great, but it kind of took a second to really get to the top of the mountain and really for him to get in that mode, which left the door open for, you know, uh, opinions and, and for, it, for niggas to see things other than the way I saw it, you know. But regardless, I still feel like Gage has some shit. Like you can see me, you can see me in the background of that battle reacting, going crazy, when Gage say some fire shit. Like I don't think bro garbage at all. I just I just feel like it's levels. But I'm pretty sure he feels the same way about himself. Like it's he probably feel like it's levels and ain't shit I can do with him for real. You see what I'm saying? Right, see this is the thing. This is the God's honest truth, right? Gage ain't never stood in front of no killer for real. Like, he's never stood in front of a nigga that, like, is just gonna keep coming back to back to back to back. He's never stood in front of a nigga that low-key got this shit mastered. You see what I'm saying? Understand how to connect to a crowd, how to write for a crowd, how to get crowd reaction, how to perform, how to, uh, you know, really get into it with the wordplay. Like, really make niggas fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? Not just the people that came with you or the people that's just fans of you, but people in general. Like, bro ain't never stood against somebody that's really low-key, like, Flawless in all aspects and I'm one of the niggas if we being honest about it Like ain't too many niggas doing shit with me for real and Gage is is not an exception to that rule. I promise you. I promise you Yeah, it should be fun All right, man, what's that date man? man January 15th man. Reek Fisher vs. Gage Buko Lounge, Killer Instinct, Headhunters TV Supreme Victory